the owner of the Red Hen restaurant that kicked out Sarah Huckabee Sanders, has revealed why she refused to serve the White House press secretary. On Friday night Sanders was asked to leave the Lexington, Virginia restaurant where she was dining with her seven family members. Restaurant owner Stephanie Wilkinson said she took a staff vote before asking Sanders to leave. When they voted to boot her out, Wilkinson complied. Tell me, what you want me to do? I can ask her to leave. They said yes, Wilkinson said to the Washington Post. Scroll down for video I'm not a huge fan of confrontation. Wilkinson said she bore in mind that Trump's administration's agenda to ban transgender people from entering the military and his zero-tolerance policy that separated migrant families at the border and taking her poll. She added that Lexington is a small blue town that voted against Trump. After the staff voted to have the press secretary leave, Wilkinson approached her table. I'm the owner. I'd like you to come out to the patio with me for a word, she said. I was babbling a little, but I got my point across in a polite and direct fashion. I explained that the restaurant has certain standards that I feel it has to uphold, such as honesty and compassion and cooperation," she added. I said, I'd like to ask you to leave, to which Sanders replied that's fine. I'll go. Share this article Cher Wilkinson said the other members of her party were welcome to stay, but they followed Sanders as she left. They offered to pay. I said, no. It's on the house, Wilkinson said. Sanders took to Twitter Saturday morning to slam Wilkinson saying, last night I was told by the owner of the Red Hen in Lexington, VI to leave because I work for at POTUS and I politely left. Her actions say far more about her than about me. I always do my best to treat people, including those I disagree with, respectfully and will continue to do so. Since the incident the Yelp page for the Red Hen has been inundated with one and five star reviews from people on both sides of the political spectrum, bringing the restaurant score down to two. Five stars. Meanwhile, an unaffiliated restaurant with the same name in Washington, D.C. has also been caught in the crossfire and is distancing itself from the scandal. As of Saturday evening the restaurant's page was on active cleanup alert featuring a disclaimer banner saying it is being monitored for content relating to media reports. To add to the chaos, a hacker reworked the menu for the red hen that appears in a Bing search to say erectile dysfunction in the description box. Staff member Jake Foley Schultz took to Facebook to recall the encounter where he told Sanders he could only serve her for two minutes. I just served Sarah Huckabee Sanders for a total of two minutes before my owner kicked her out along with seven of her other family members," he posted on Facebook. The post went viral after Brennan Gilmore, the director of nonprofit green group Clean Virginia, shared it on Twitter along with a handwritten note supposedly from the restaurant that read, 86, Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Gilmore wrote, at press secretary got kicked out of the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, Virginia tonight. Apparently the owner didn't want to serve her and her party out of moral conviction. 86 is restaurant industry slang meaning throw out. The Red Hen accepts walk-ins as Sanders' name had apparently already been written down by staff and assigned to a table, suggests she had pre-booked. Dot bigotry. On the menu at the Red Hen restaurant in Lexington, VI. Or you can ask for the hate plate. And appetizers are small plates for small minds, he tweeted on Saturday. But many supported the restaurant, including model Christine Tejan, who replied to Sanders' tweet by saying, Didn't you morons get your panties in a wad defending the baker that didn't want to make cakes for gay couples? MSNBC host Lawrence O'Donnell wrote, You do not treat reporters respectfully. You lie to them and personally insult some of them in full public view. On Saturday, 
the restaurant's social media pages were being bombarded with comments from purported diners, also from both sides of the political spectrum, from all over the country. Douglas S. from Chico, California, wrote, Based on their hate and prejudices I would not patronize this place. Americans have worked hard for peace and social justice, but up with a place that is owned by an intolerant fascist. Stephen C., from Marysville, Washington, was also scathing, writing, I would never eat here again. The owner is a bigot. The way I've seen him treat customers is despicable. Don't waste your money here. Others supported the decision, with Frederick H. of Jackson writing, Thank you for standing up for all of us. We'll definitely visit next month when I'm in the area. And Will S. wrote from Las Vegas, Highly recommend. If you want a place that has amazing food and has the right moral compass, I would go to the Red Hen on Yelp, a reviewer of the restaurant from Los Angeles wrote, Don't eat here if you're a Republican wearing a MAGA hat or a Patriot. 12 tenths would recommend. Bonus, this place is run by management who stuck up for their beliefs and who are true Americans. Thank you, said a reviewer from Commerce City, Colorado. Dailymail.com has contacted the Red Hen for comment.